na 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 Dufault when you're watching Animal Logic. Bats are truly remarkable animals and they're the only mammals that can actually fly. Nope, Batman doesn't count. He just glides. Unlike birds, bats fly with their fingers spread out. So rather than flapping their entire wing, they essentially wave their hands up and down. There are over 1200 species of bats all around the world, but the bumblebee bat is the smallest. And the cutest. I want one. The bumblebee bat is actually the world's smallest mammal. They're about an inch in length and weigh only two grams. The largest bat, however, is a species of flying fox that has a terrifying wingspan of over four feet. Bats are not blind, although they don't see very well. They use their special superpower, echolocation, to see as they fly in the dark, and they have a much better picture of their environment than us humans could ever hope for. So there's absolutely no chance that they're going to fly into your hair, especially since their echolocation is so fine-tuned that it can detect objects as thin as a human hair. Most bats are insectivores. They eat flying insect pests like mosquitoes, which is really, really useful for us humans. Thank you, bats, on behalf of all of us. In fact, they can eat up to 1,200 mosquitoes in an hour, often consuming their weight in insects every night. Again, thank you, bats. The Bracken Bat Cave in Texas is the largest known bat colony in the world, with over 20 million bats residing there. 20 million! And they'll eat over 200 tons of bugs in one single night. The remaining species are either fruit eaters, fish eaters, or blood eaters. The blood eaters are vampire bats, but regardless of where you live, there's really no need to fear them. They feed primarily on livestock. Strangely enough, vampire bats usually walk to get to their prey, rather than fly. They move along the ground in their best stealthy fashion, and when they find dinner, they bite and then lap up the blood as it flows. Speaking of sucking, Another interesting fact about bats is that at least one species has been seen engaging in fellatio. <clears throat> yes, scientists have actual video of female short-nosed fruit bats performing oral sex on their fellas to prolong copulation. I'm serious. Scientists don't know exactly why they do this, but the leading theories are that prolonged sex keeps the male bat away from rival females. It increases the female's chances of getting pregnant, as longer sex means easier transport of the sperm to the oviduct. And that the spit helps kill any bacteria on the male's penis, reducing the risk of bat STDs, which apparently exist. In 1942, the first lady's dentist came up with the idea for a bat bomb, a bomb casing filled with Mexican free-tailed bats with small timed firebombs attached to them. I bet you can guess how this turned out. Endorsed by President Roosevelt, the plan was to drop a million bat bombs, each containing a thousand bats strapped with small amounts of napalm over Osaka Bay in Japan in 1943. But the test didn't go so well. On May 15th at the Carlsbad Air Force Base, they attached the bombs to a bunch of semi-hibernating bats, hoping to test their firepower. But surprise, surprise, they woke up and acted exactly as bats would, attempting to hide in every nook and cranny that they could find. In this case, it was the control tower and a fuel tank, eventually burning the entire complex to the ground. Despite it looking like a clear loser, the project was moved forward with the mentality of, well, it destroyed our airbase. Imagine what it'll do to the Japanese but it was eventually canceled due to its slow progression. In America, they went from bat to atomic. So what animal should I check out next? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to Animal Logic for new episodes every week. For more on the life of city dwelling bats, be sure to check out City Wildlife Rescue. I'll put a link in the description and be sure to check out their site and donate if you can. Thanks for watching.